Here is here is the latest from CNN on Biden. He made a what, what would you call this? Make made up a story, uh, you know, did a story, but got all of the facts wrong. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, again, from on the Joe Biden curve, this is one of the most accurate things he's ever said in his entire life. Right. No, let's uh, take uh, off the Joe Biden curve. <laughs> well, because he actually <laughs> did. The story's about a soldier. Um, he went to pin a medal on him and the, 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 the soldier apparently said, you know, I don't want this. Um, uh, don't even give me the medal because uh, the, per, you know, his fighting uh, his you know, brother in arms had already died and he didn't feel good about taking it. And it's kind of an uplifting story about you know the character of our of our military. Um, so mm-hmm. all that happened. Like he did actually do it. He did it when he was a senator, though not the vice president. And this is a, something right. that has been repeated over and over again. The Parkland thing was another example of this, where he was not vice president when he said he was vice president. Uh, meeting with the Parkland kids. Of course, the shooting happened afterwards. If he met with the Parkland kids about the shooting when he was vice president, what did he know and when did he know it? Is, is what I want to ask. So he has this, <laughs> he's, he's one of these guys that he, he was plotting. I met with the Parkland kids <laughs> right. and very we strange. plotted this whole thing. <laughs> he, he's, uh, he, I, he is one of those guys that I just, you know, his brain is not, the, the, the wires aren't connecting. And I think everybody you looks saying, at this and sees this. Are you saying that I put an abnormal brain into a five foot ten vice president is that what you're saying i don't sorry quoting mel brooks uh-huh. uh, listen to this this is washington post one big question facing candidates and voters now this is about joe biden from brian stelter one big question facing candidates and voters is whether president trump's routine falsehoods have changed the standards by, wi- uh, by which other presidential aspirants should be judged. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I thought this was about Joe Biden. The Washington Post, um, the revelations about Joe Biden's completely botching, botching a war story. Last Friday in the campaign trail in New Hampshire, the Democratic forerunner, forerunner wrote, told a moving but false story about a Navy captain who, despite his bravery, felt like a failure. The problem is, except, this is quoting the Post, except almost every detail in the story seems to be incorrect. (laughs) More more than a dozen, they spoke to more than a dozen U.S. troops, their commanders, and Biden campaign officials to figure out what actually happened. They, They concluded that, quote, Biden jumbled elements of at least three actual events in the story of bravery, compassion, and regret that never happened. Mm -hmm. The bottom line is, in the space of three minutes, Biden got the time period, the location, the heroic act, the type of medal, the military branch, and the rank of the recipient wrong, as well as his own role in the ceremony. So bizarre. I I mean, because... like none of those and this is what's weird about biden none of those things make the story better right the story isn't better because he's vice president the story isn't better because he's in a different location the story isn't better because it's one type of a medal over another type of a medal he just doesn't seem to remember anything and again it it, it seems to come back to that same thing where there's just like a, a a mental um a, a normal mental brain function that occurs in your average person is occurring in a different way in Joe Biden's head. And it's, I think it's been like that for a while. It just seems to be getting much, much worse. And the important thing here, for, as far as Democrat voters go, has nothing to do with whether he ever tells another thing that's true in his entire life, whether he ever tells another story that's true. The issue with Democratic voters here is for them to figure out whether he is so far gone, he's not going to be able to win this election. The second the Democrats believe these issues lead to him losing to Donald Trump is when he's no longer he's, the front runner. He, he's he's Hillary Clinton. Yeah, I the mean, minute I, they realize he can't, he's Hillary Clinton. They will treat him like Hillary Clinton. Now, 
Um, Devon Cole from CNN notes, Biden made other several misstatements, not lies, misstatements Mm. at the same New Hampshire event last Friday, including one about how many visits he made to Afghanistan and Iraq. But two wrongs don't make a right. Now, listen to this. How do you feel? (laughs) This is about Biden. How do you feel about how this may relate to how you feel about Donald Trump? Lots of progressives are all up in my Twitter mentions saying this Biden story doesn't matter because Trump is a pathological liar. And lots of conservatives are promoting the Biden story for obvious reasons. Yeah, here's the obvious reason. I think he is mentally not fit anymore. He's not the same guy that he was four years ago. He is stumbling over his own words. He looks like he's beginning to go senile. And that's not conservatives saying that. That's also a lot of liberals saying that. But he goes on. But the bar should stay high, even if Trump constantly finds way to go lower and lower. Then he writes, here's the counter argument. Now, let me ask you this. Have you heard them have a counter argument for Donald Trump getting things wrong Ever. Right. There's never been an excuse where they're like, look, he, what he probably meant here was this. They actually jump on it the complete opposite way. They look for anything he says that's the slightest bit off and then act as if he's making a major policy statement. Um, you know, this goes back to things like even going back to the, the very classic example from 2015 where he came down the escalator and said, you know, look, we've got rapists coming across the border. Everybody right. who listened to that speech could easily tell that what he is talking about is, are there some? Yeah. I mean, the answer to that is yes. There have been a lot of criminals that have come across the border. Everybody on earth knows that. Um, he wasn't saying everybody in Mexico is a rapist, right? He's saying he's saying that, look, we have a problem with crime coming across the border, and most people were able to decipher that if they were being honest. But if you go the other way and you just act as if the exact thing he says is a major policy statement, it gives gets you a lot of clicks. You get a lot of outrage clicks, and that is what the media has decided to do with this president.